Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at adjusting daylight savings time in Do More PLC. Now detailed information contained in the video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link is put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start you at video 1. There will be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. So up on my screen you'll see that we have our, our Do More designer software currently running and we are connected to our Do More simulator right here so we'll be doing everything um, displayed on this device so we'll just move this over to the side here and the first thing we'll do is because we're looking at daylight savings time what exactly is daylight savings time and it, daylight savings time actually begins at 2 a.m. local time on the second Sunday in March and then on the first Sunday in November daylight savings time ends so that means that at 2 a.m. On March the second Sunday of March we uh, go ahead one hour and in no November the first Sunday we fall back one hour so that's what daylight saving time normally does or and that's how it operates so when we look at this in the PLC what we did was previously we said well if the PLC is always on we can um, look at the logic and turn on our summertime bit and the summertime bit actually adjusts the hour ahead or when we reset that summertime bit it takes off the hour and that was done with a program we did a little while ago so what we do is let's uh, let's take a look at what we have here and this first program here is running our program when the PLC is always on and we're always monitoring that summertime bit then what we've done is we said, well, if the PLC turns off and on all the time and it's, we can't guarantee that's on when that summertime bit happens or daylight savings time either uh, um, goes ahead or falls back, then what we want to do is we want to um, then check for that. And there's two different methods that I've, we've placed in here, the sample program. The first one is using bit logic and it just basically monitors all the time and sets that bit. Or there's a formula that was uh, created and that formula will actually then set the um, daylight savings time, summertime bit. So a couple different methods. So the first one we'll do is well, let's take a look at the bit um, on the time here. And what we'll do is uh, call up our simulator and turn this uh, section on. So that's bit uh, X0. So we'll turn that on. Now that program is running. If we look here, we can look at the status. Right? And now that that program's running, and we'll just make sure uh, we're stop mode. So we'll do in run mode. And you can see here, our program is running. Let's look at the actual logic. So it must be March. It must be greater than seven. It must be less than 15, so we have the second week. Then the day of the week must be a Sunday. Then we have to have the hour, which is two. And then what we do is we set our summertime bit on. Now what I've done is adjusted our, uh, our data view. And our data view actually will show us what the current uh, setting is right now. So let's, let's actually turn that summertime bit on by going into the PLC. We can go set PLC clock. And when we do that, we can go down to manual settings. We see that we're in March. Let's go to the second week of March, which would be the eighth. And then we'll set this for uh, 2, 59, 55. And why, why that is, is because remember the summertime's off, so it's going to subtract an hour. So we'll get uh, 159.55 when we put this in the PLC. So we're going to write that in. And you see 159.57. And then once that hits the 2, it automatically turns on that summertime bit, jumps to 3. And now our summertime bit is on. We're on daylight savings time. The next rung of this, remember this is going to be always on, is going to look for November. And when we're less than eight, so it's in the first week, we are Sunday and the hour is two. Then what we do is we reset the summertime bit. So let's do that. PLC, 
set PLC clock. We'll do the set manual settings. Now we'll go to November and we'll do the 1st of November. We'll set this at 159, 55. And then we'll hit set the settings. Okay. And then once we get to two o'clock, then that setting now turns off, which is exactly what it did. So that's what happens when we have the PLC powered up all the time. Now, what happens when we don't? Now, a couple of things uh, can happen. So let's go back to our main program here. In our main program, you'll notice the first one we have here it actually sets the current time and date from um, a server. Now, what it does is this instruction, this net time instruction, it retrieves the calendar and clock information from a time server using the simple uh, network time protocol, which is SNTP. And that's a common network or common uh, way to get the actual time and to sync everything across your plant floor. So I'll leave that in the sample and this can be downloaded at accautomation.ca. So let's go back to our simulator, our buttons on our simulator. Let's turn off our on all the time. And then we have that bit logic as I was telling you before, but let's, let's skip right down and let's use the formula. So in the formula, we'll take a look at it. We'll turn on two. Now the formula is running and we'll call that up. So here's the formula. It looks quite complicated, but it's really uh, quite straightforward. What we have is our month, if it's greater than three or less than 11, then what we do is we turn on our summertime bit. Then if it is equal to three, and then there's a bunch of, uh, of ifs that it has to be greater than uh, the day of seven, or it has to be equal to, to um, Sunday, and it has to be within the um, second week to actually turn that summertime bit on. And it has to be then less than um, a two when it goes off in November and the first Sunday. So again, what we can do is because we have that running right now, we can actually go ahead and set our PC uh, time. And again, what we'll do is we will set this uh, manual setting. We'll go back to our time that starts, which is March the 8th. And let's put in two, uh, 59, 55. And then we'll set that setting in. Here it is right here. And once um, we go to the two, you see that automatically turns on that daylight savings time. And now we go to three. So now that's working exactly as we, we thought it would. Now let's go to the PLC setting again. We'll go to the uh, set PLC clock. And now we'll go back to, or we'll fall back when it hits to November. November 1st. And what we'll do is we'll write 159, uh, 55, and we'll set that again. And once it gets to two, it should then turn that bit off. And that's exactly what it did. So the formula is working just, just great. Right? Now, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want our free eBooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Stay safe.